Hey folks, uh, some people asked me about my chicken tractor. I've been switching gears going from making furniture to making chicken coops recently and one of these accessories that I put together is I, I found a design on YouTube and this involves uh, some pressure treated lumber at the base, uh, some half inch water pipe with a bunch of fittings. We've got elbows and T connections. We've got seven hoops. I think they're approximately about eight feet long. We want a half inch so it's flexible, the, uh, the half inch piping. Then we use some conduit straps to tie it to the Two by fours, and we got some shade cloth from Lens Mills just to give the girls a bit of protection from the sun. And at the back here, we uh, got some vinyl coated metal here that we use for predator cloth when we built the coop. We cut a door in so we can get the girls in and out when they were young, just carabiners used to contain it. We got a magnet holding our water container, we got bungees holding the feeder. When the girls were young, we put six of them in there at a time. Now that they're older, um, we only put three in at a time. It's a four by eight structure. The, the original design caused, uh, asked for four inch piping at the base, which made it lighter and easier to slide on the grass, but I didn't like the way it sat, so I used pressure treated to sit on top of my wagon and my raised garden, which we'll show you, demonstrate to you in a second. But other than that, now with the three uh, full grown girls, we'll put them in there, they'll sit on the lawn, they'll aerate it, they'll fertilize it, and then we'll set it for two hours at a time, and then we'll move it every couple hours across the lawn with that strap at the front. Uh, the rest is covered just in cheap, cheap old chicken wire, which does about 90% of the coverage. This is only the end of it that I'd use the vinyl coated stuff. I had left over from my previous project. All in total, maybe about uh, 150 to 200 bucks in material tops uh, between Home Depot and Lowe's. Next application, we'll move on to what we use it for the winter time. Okay, our next application we've taken off the ground for the winter time. We'll throw it on top of my 4x8 trailer, it'll sit flush there. Uh, we'll pop off, or just we'll leave the shade cloth on and we'll put a blue tarp over it, bungee it down, and it protects my trailer from the snow and the rain during the winter months. So that's another application as to why I use pressure treated a nice flat bottom. We'll move on to the next application we've got for over our raised garden. Next application we've got is our raised garden. They're 4x8 with the galvanized and the pressure treated. Um, in the spring, we'll move the girls out here three at a time, let them work up the ground prior to seeding. As well, we'll pop off that shade cloth and we'll cover it in clear plastic and we'll have a mini greenhouse here sitting on top of our raised bed. I've got three of these, two over there and one here. Um, all, all three will be used by the girls, they'll work them up, we'll do shifts at three and ro rotate the next three in and work it up that way. As well, uh, with the clear plastic, it's nice to have that greenhouse to start the seedings prior to the seeding. Post season, after you've harvested your vegetables, we'll put the girls back in the raised beds and work up and fertilize the soil again, feed bugs and aerating and fertilizing and putting the nutrients back into it. So, another application. Last one too is uh, my wife got some blueberry bushes this year, so when that's not in use, we can cover up the blueberry bushes to keep the birds off it and the chickens off it so they get a chance to grow. As well, if you have an in ground garden and you've got a couple of rows of sensitive stuff that needs to be protected. As long as you stay within the four by eight parameters, you could cover up a couple of rows with this thing. Same with uh, in, the, in the fall or whatever, if you have a frost coming up or in the spring, you can throw that on uh, your in-ground garden or the raised bed, cover it up and it provides coverage for that. So these are just some of the applications that we've come up with so far. I'm sure I'm glad to hear any suggestions or ideas that you guys got for other uses around the backyard. But like I said, 250, 200 bucks tops material, really easy to make and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for tuning in. Stay safe and stay vertical.